right-leaning parties winning seats in the European Parliament at the expense of the left-leaning or green parties. Uh, Sima Modi joins us now with more on the market reaction, and it has been especially, especially acute, I think, Sima, in France. That's exactly right, Tyler. A big showing for Europe's far right, winning more seats than expected in France prompting President Emmanuel Macron to call for a snap parliamentary election on June 30th. We immediately saw stocks in France sell off. The CAC 40 trading at its lowest level since February, underperforming the other European indices. And major banks from Credit Agricole, SocGen, BNP leading the declines by around 4 to 7 percent, while we saw the tenure in France hit its highest level of the year. Far-right nationalists did put up a bigger showing in Germany as well, Greece and Italy, which sent the euro, the currency, down to 106 seven against the dollar now at its lowest level in one month. Investors at Deutsche Bank write that the outcome of the legislative elections in France might lead to a government less likely to easily comply with EU fiscal rules, either intentionally or as a result of a potential weak political alliance. Other European strategists write that it could push European leaders to focus a bit more on tighter immigration policies, a big push from the right, and less so on the economy. So a busy few weeks ahead with France's snap election at the end of the month. And then there's that UK election on July Fourth, the confirmation of Europe's uh, Commission president on July 18th. A busy summer ahead, Kel. Oh, wow, indeed. Seema, thank you very much. Seema Modi.